we also often get questions from the Parkinson's community about more advanced treatments that are being developed, um, such as stem cells and gene therapy. What can you tell us about those? What, what, are, what should our people know about those potential treatments? Yeah, so um, so I, you know, always when we take, talk about emerging therapies, people want an update on that, and they deserve an update. And the reason, so on, they deserve an update is they've been hyped so much, right? Like people say, okay, this is going to be the cure. You've got a dopamine cell problem in Parkinson. Let's put those dopamine cells in. Let's get the show on the road here, and let's fix Parkinson. And what we've learned is is that you know, over multiple transplants with animals and with humans now with cells that come from embryos and cells that don't, we, we can make lots of cells now. We can, there's even new techniques to get enough cells out there if people, if this worked for people to be able to get the therapies. But what we found is that it hasn't been the, uh, the holy grail, so to speak, for those of you that like, uh, the, that like a little British uh, humor, it, there hasn't been a holy grail here for stem cell therapy. And one of the reasons why is Parkinson is complex. It's been targeted at those motor circuits and some of those motor circuits where there's the black cells that die, so the dopamine cells that die. And as we think about the therapy, we can certainly make them more pure. Some supplies will need you to be on drugs so you don't reject the cells, but now we're getting better at that. We're getting better at the cells turning off so they don't cause cancers if they grow too fast. But Parkinson is such a complex disease that, um, that it really has been quite challenging. Now, I would say that one of the emerging things for the field to watch is, is a group, and I wrote this down because I knew I would forget it, although it has a name you should remember. It's called the STEM PD group. This is a European consortium and collaboration that's sort of taking on some of these questions and trying to look at multiple circuits. And then there's a very uh, a famous uh, researcher who's in uh, Japan named uh, Takahashi, and he's got some new papers out uh, on stem cells. But but there, there are, you know, in terms of the, the therapies, it didn't go as far as we would like to see it go. And I think that the scientists, in all honesty, have had to take a step back and ask that question, why? The other thing, just to mention here, since we're talking about emerging therapies, is there's a great, um, a great reporter named Laura Beal, and she, uh, she has a podcast, and one of her podcasts is called Bad Batch, and it's her father actually had Parkinson, and that's why she made that podcast. And she's also done Dr. Death and, and several other things you've seen on TV and other famous podcasts. But listen to the one um, called Bad Batch if you're interested in stem cells, because that one will tell you a lot about the, how the field has evolved and how it got a little out of control with tourism and took advantage of people and what the hope was and how hope translated into too much hype and how we've got to dial it back a little bit and be careful as we're looking at these at these therapies. So there's still some why questions here on the stem cells and it's not it's not clear that this is going to be the the clear path forward that many people thought maybe 15 years ago. Mm -hmm.